वेलकम ऑल माय सेल्फ मिस्टर एस के कुलकर्णी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर आई एम हियर टू हैव डिस्कशन विथ यू ऑन टॉपिक एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स इन मटेरियल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ द टुडे सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन अप्लीकेशंस ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स इन मटेरियल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन लेट अस इंट्रोडक्शन डियर फ्रेंड्स optimization refers to acquiring the best outcome under specific conditions and in the field of civil engineering optimization can be executed in each step of a project life cycle such as design construction operation and maintenance so optimization gives the best outcome under given conditions optimization technique can be applied to material transportation also so material transportation what it is it consists of safe economical and time saving transfer of materials from one place to another and here is a scope for optimization technique uh, to be used efficiently considering opportunities to optimize material transport within the first phase especially indoors a lot of time and cost can be saved so uh, optimization should be considered at the first stage whenever we think of transporting materials from one place to another now we can uh, we will see few steps those can be undertaken to optimize material transportation find the right technology so this is important step evolving technologies offer a new paradigm for the material transit component in the supply chain which is frequently disregarded so latest technologies must be used for material transportation for example robotics which is uh, used uh, for the material transportation by 2022 the market for industrial robotics is anticipated to be worth 79.6 billion dollars usd so such a huge market is there for this particular technology sensors are becoming more widely available more available more advanced and more affordable so these latest technologies like robotics sensors these must be used for effective transportation of materials in construction processes sensors can help give accuracy efficiency and insight into traceable kpis linked with robotic systems ranging from automated picking in order fulfillment to autonomous material movement so key performance indicators can be satisfied with the help of these uh, sensors sensors give accuracy efficiency and insight into traceable key performance indicators when linked with robotic systems so this is effective way of uh, doing transportation of equipment materials in construction processes interconnect with equipment meanwhile the user interface of the software is designed to integrate with inventory management or work order tracking systems and can interconnect with equipment on the floor so interconnection with software is equally important for material transportation on a large scale when huge projects are uh going on this particular technique is very much useful application of information technology is uh, coming to help in this particular regard for in material transportation implement an intelligent layout this is next important thing so your imp- uh, layout should be pre- decided beforehand evaluate all possible layouts by assessing both their upsides and downsides the type of product 
and atom flow per time unit will determine the handling of such products same which is intrinsic to internal processes critical conditions of flows consider even the most critical conditions of flows and products this way we ensure that the product satisfies all demands required so critical flows must be identified and taken care of if the solution included in an elevated product flow then the same will require sorters that work in an integrated controlled and automated way okay so the um, uh, critical path must be identified and the transportation of material should be carried out in a automated way along the uh, paths found minimize implementation risks keep in mind that having a detailed description of the materials to be handling their flow logics rates restrictions and different sub handling processes is a crucial point to minimize implementation risks so all these are crucial points in minimizing implementation risks so detailed description of materials to be handling should be there flow logics rates restrictions and different sub handling processes these must be all uh, ready with us and this will reduce the implementation risks move less inventory just in time this is next important thing so the material that flows through a facility as well as the operational techniques for transporting that material including its packaging are designed around the traditional material handling paradigm that is people don't allow suppliers to supply oversized bulk pallets in arrangements that are advantages for them rather than the manufacturer so at a time uh, move only the required amount of inventory and just in time eliminating wasted space and motion operators can discuss things with suppliers to improve the way supplies are packaged and supplied allowing inventory to flow more quickly across the plant this is important and arrive at the design designated station at the right time and in the right quantity reducing waste and motion so this will take care of redu reduction in waste and also reduction in uh, transportation time design the layout for optimize the efficiency and scalability the layout that is currently in place may not be the most optimized for material transport recognize how goods are currently received and how they should be received to enable faster dispatch in your operation also understand that the nature of inventory orders like size storage packaging transportation modes needed for goods and skills and training required by employees so these are all important thing employee should also be given sufficient training then identify business process requirements and technologies that can be implemented optimize material transport this introspective approach may call for a floor plan redes redesign particularly if material transport equipment can move shrunken inventory through smaller spaces to deliver on a more direct route understand how to optimize your material transport in the first mile with automated solutions so use the shortest path possible optimize the material transport and get the benefits optimize the human factor when we talk about optimizing the human factor we do not necessarily refer to increasing the demands or workloads but rather to improve efficiency of work shifts facilitating the level required in the operation so human factor is important in this context it is important to acknowledge the human abilities and limitations to ensure safe and effective operations so identify the human abilities and accordingly the 
optimization can be done. Leverage times and space. Evaluate and assess the logistics behind material flow to find where you may eliminate unnecessary operations that provide little to none added value. Likewise, saving space also represents a priority when looking for a way to make effective and efficient use of the available space. So this will ensure saving in time and space. So unnecessary operations should be avoided and that will help in optimizing the resources. Dear friends, let us stop a while here. Here are few questions for you. Write you their answers neatly. State whether the following assertions are true or false. First is, this introspective approach may call for a floor plan redesign, particularly if material transport equipment can move shrunken in uh, inventory through smaller spaces to deliver on a more direct route. Then second uh, assertion is, it is not so important to acknowledge the human abilities and limitations to ensure safe and effective operations. So write their answers whether these assertions are true or false. These are the answers. First assertion is true, but second is false. It is not so important. This is wrong. It is important to acknowledge the human ability, abilities should be the correct statement. Hope you have written the correct answers. These are the references for today's session. Go through them. Thank you.